And welcome back, everybody. You're watching News Channel 3 Live at 9. In baseball, they say keep your eye on the ball. Remember that, Marco, but keep <laughs> your eye on the ball. In fact, vision plays a very important part in any athlete's life. Well, now Memphis doctor and president of the Sports Ophthalmology Society of America, Dr. Rolando Toyos, has teamed up with Major League Baseball's Jason Phillips to explain how vision impacts performance. And they have put out a new DVD for players. They are here with us this morning to talk about that. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Now, we were just talking this was a year-long project of putting this DVD together. Yeah, most definitely. Dr. Toyos uh, has become a friend of mine over the last few years. Uh, he d did my LASIK surgery, so, you know, had a lot of trust in him. And, yeah. uh, you know, we talked, and it was a year-long process. He did a lot of the, uh, the background, and obviously with him being the president of the uh, Ophthalmology Society, uh, came to me and said, hey, you know, I got an idea. And, you know, I was obviously on the road, so meeting uh -huh. up in different cities to, uh, you know, put this thing together. Was and a, doctor, was this process. was almost like the perfect combination here because obviously a little background information, you'd always been a huge baseball fan to begin with, <laughs> yeah. but uh, getting with Jason, you guys came up with this great concept here. Uh, how did all of it kind of begin for you? Well, a lot of athletes come in and, and they want to improve their performance by getting uh, a procedure like LASIK. And so in high school, I played basketball, football, um, and baseball. So I've got some background into understanding what they're talking about when they tell me, oh, you know, I'm not seeing the ball or I'm... You know, at night I have problems seeing the ball, so I start talking to them about baseball and their LASIK. And then with Jason, I, it just it went one step further because I started talking to him and asking him questions about, you know, what he was seeing uh, when he saw mm -hmm. a pitch. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, just getting more and more information from him, I put together this lecture called Vision in Baseball. And we have this group called the Sports Ophthalmology Society of America where a bunch of team doctors uh, uh, come together and we just talk about different research projects that we have. So I presented this lecture and everybody's like, oh, I didn't know that and I didn't know this. And there's a lot of information that Jason was giving me and then putting visual uh, uh, science to the things that he was telling me. So then I went back to him and I go, you know, everybody that I talk to about these things say, oh, I wish I'd have known that. Even professional <laughs> right, players would right. go, Oh, I didn't know that, and I go, and and they'd say, God, I wish I'd have known that, you know, years ago, or I, I wish imagine. I'd known their kid. And then I, when kids would come in, I'd start talking to them about the same things. So I said, you know, Jason, we should, you know, put this in a video so that kids can have this. So, Jason, how has the surgery impacted your performance? Well, definitely, uh, you know, like we talk about in the video. Um, <laughs> anytime I, I couldn't wear contacts, so I was stuck with the glasses, and. Uh, you know, it's always an inconvenience, you know, depending on where you're playing, hot, cold weather, fogging up, mm -hmm. you know, so it was always, you know, not real fashionable either, you know, okay. I mean, yeah, so <laughs> and you want to look good it took a lot of too. ragging, you know, <laughs> in the major leagues, so, you know, it's good for the kids, you know, with glasses and, and right. things like that, and, you know, it, it took me a lot of years to get over my skepticism on LASIK, so, uh, you know, did a lot of research and found out that, hey, Toils is the guy to go to, and, uh, you know, went to him, and obviously he's, you know, well-respected in the industry, and, you know, being a former athlete, you know, we could talk, and he'd understand where I was coming from on a lot of aspects. And break it down, as the doctor was explaining as well, Jason, when you're out there on the field, and that ball is coming at you, mm -hmm. yeah, either 90 miles, 90 miles or an hour. 100 <laughs> right. or whatever, right. what is that like, it, uh, you know, especially if you have good vision, or if the vision is not where it needs to be, what are you seeing out there? Well, that's the thing. I mean, basically, a lot of the stuff is on hand-eye coordination, so it, you need to see things at a distance. So, you know, being able to see stuff quickly because the last, you know, when you, like we talk about in the video and, and, and demonstrate with a lot of, you know, dialogue and a, and a lot of graphics that the last 15 to 20 feet of anybody catching a baseball, you don't see it. Or a tennis player, you know, hitting the ball or, or anything like that, you don't actually see the ball at moment of contact or point of contact so you need to see it at a distance to to dictate where it's going and you know with glasses like he says everything's in a, a, a you know a lot smaller scale so you want to see it bigger and being able to pick up seams at night and you know just different background and surroundings that all that stuff is, is so, so like some of the things that you were talking about in the beginning uh, we debunk a lot of myths that people have so mm -hmm. you hear coaches talking about you know see the ball all the way and you got to see the ball when you hit it that we we did video to show that that doesn't really happen what mm -hmm. happens when the pitcher throws the ball at 20 feet before the batter hits it he's actually putting his eyes to where he thinks the ball is going to be mm -hmm. so you actually don't see the ball all the way until mm -hmm. it hits the bat 
The other thing with, uh, with athletes I talk to, especially like somebody, uh, Jason, when you're wearing uh, glasses, what that tends to do for somebody who's very nearsighted, it, it minifies things, so they see the, uh, the ball a lot smaller than what it really is. Mm -hmm. Perfect example of that is Tiger Woods, who was a minus 10 before his LASIK. So when he put on those glasses and he was looking at a ball, the ball seemed, was like, to him, was about this small. <laughs> Once he had the LASIK and didn't have the, the encumbersomeness of the glasses, now the ball looks so much bigger. So the first thing that a lot of players that tell me is, God, the ball seems so much bigger when wow. it's coming to me. So one of the things that we did in this video, and that's why it took a whole year, is uh, we actually, every question like that, mm -hmm. we actually did video. So for example, uh, what's the first thing that he sees? A lot of people say, oh, they can't see the spin on the ball. But yeah. they actually see an image that tells them whether it's a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, a curveball. Yeah. And one of the things that we did is we took balls and we put them on rotaries uh, and, and spun them and see exactly what they see. And <laughs> wow. That is what amazing. It really yeah. is. So is the DVD, is it more so for younger folks, younger athletes who really want to you know, pursue something That's in either right. high school or yeah. college, or is this more so for parents or coaches? Well, I, Who's it for? I think it can start you know, at, at a younger age where, where you're you know, little league and starting to understand what you're looking for as you know, you're getting older and, and guys are starting to throw different pitches and you're, you're getting at the higher levels. But I mean, all the information that comes from here is coming from the top. I mean, I've, obviously I've spoken to a lot of major leaguers, some going to be in the Hall of Fame, all-stars, you know, at the major league level, and ask them, you know, what do you look for? What, what do you see? What's your preparation? What, are you looking at a hat? What do you want to see first that you know that you're focused? Are you, you know, one of the biggest things that, that created this video was, was Doc came to me and he said, you know, what, what, what do you look for when you're standing in the box? And I said, well, first of all, every three to four seconds, you need to blink. And he goes... That's what my study did. He said, mm -hmm. we can do a video on this. And that's basically wow. where this thing came from. So you'll see, guys, I need to call time out because, you know, every three to four seconds, your eyes get dry. You have to, you have to blink. So if you're blinking, there's a downtime before, you know, oh, I don't feel comfortable. Time out. I got to step out, get refocused, stay relaxed. You know, and that's, that's basically how this video became, you know, is what we utilize in the baseball industry. He was talking about it with patients. And then we did industry. some studies with major leaguers in terms of blinking and what drops to use. But I think this is, you know, I, I just gave it to somebody that runs a baseball academy. And they said, you know, uh, you know I'm going to have all my players use this. That goes from a 7-year-old all the way up until a 20-year-old or 21-year-old. So That's a, It's a great DVD, gentlemen. It really is. And you can find out more about the uh, Toyos Clinic at 795 Ridge Lake Boulevard. There is the phone number we want to put up on the screen. Or you can always visit the website at Toyos Clinic. Dot com. Jason, thank you very much. Doctor, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who do you think has the best vision for going to uh, the World Series? <laughs> I'm going to say the Yankees. Oh. <laughs> and say and vision and baseball dot com if they want to purchase the DVD. Got gotcha, you covered okay. here. Thank right. you, gentlemen. Good we job. do appreciate thank it. You. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> All right, getting your kids interested in science using some of their favorite gadgets. I like that, yeah. Ms. Reed. I like that a lot. A short break. More live at nine in just a second.